and stick this to the subject clean the subject this is in the subject compound how, movements and how? machines okay so you think you think that machines are isolation movements not exactly ma i was so you think you think you're going into something else again let's stick to no, a subject no, no, like no, 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 no. let me speak that and subject again. something you should answer that i think oh, what do you mean with regards to if you train only on machines you won't have stability at the age of 78 do you agree to this no not at all you just said it also and yes. any movement your body is able to do is functional man but you will get better stability by training with barbells by training with free weights than you get in machine do you agree with that no i don't i don't how what okay. kind of stability do you get by what what kind of stability do you get by training with barbells okay different your statement is it a better way to train for stability by doing deadlifts by doing squats or by doing leg press What do you mean by stability? Could you tell everyone what I stability just, exactly is? I told everyone what stability is, man. How stable your body is in, you know, times when you lose balance, when you slip, or when you're in unstable, unfamiliar positions. Okay, so I am standing right now. My mm. body is stable. Mm. This is also a form of stability. Do I do I need to deadlift to be stable in this manner? No, but when you have like issues when you're seventy eight years old, right? How do you maintain your physical balance and stability? What stability issues do you have when you're seventy eight? Okay, you don't know about it. Fine, let's stick to a subject. Why please, is it not? Please explain why is it not to me what stability issues you possibly okay, have. Have you trained people? Have you ever trained people in person? Person training or people at the age of seventy or eighty? One hundred percent. Not seventy to eighty, but I've definitely trained people over the age of sixty. Okay, so they have stability issues. What kind of stability issues? Anything difficult to do, walking, climbing stairs, balance. Okay, so you think that training with a barbell for someone who's seventy, eighty years old is good for their stability because they can't walk the stairs? Seventy, eighty. Start training from forties or fifties. It will help you. Okay, okay, okay. Also help you. So don't change. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you what stability exactly is. Two things. Guys, stability. No, this is this is not outside the topic. This is in the topic. You're saying compound movement improves stability, so I'm addressing stability. No, you said the topic. Yes, they are the best to start the workout with. Yes, they are the best to start the workout with. And you are shifting the subject to something else. Man, you are giving the arguments. I am just countering your arguments. I am not changing the topic. You are. Even if you think that this is changing the topic. So anyway, so what is stability? Let me let me make a couple of statements. Now. What is stability? Stability refers to nothing but. Um, having the ability to use your body in a functional manner now what does functional mean do you really need to do a 200 kg squat to be able to squat down from the ground or pick something no, from no. the is it any movement your body is capable of doing your human body functions straight in the everything there's only two things that helps a person be stable one is the neural uh, stimulation the neural control if you don't have any sort of paralysis or any type of nerve damage you'll probably be very stable with regards to your walking or your running now the other type of stability that you may have is the muscular stability and to have that muscular stability you just need that tone in your muscles you have alpha gamma and beta neurons in your muscles that stimulate the tone of your muscles so if you have well toned muscles strong muscles capable muscles then you will be stable in day to day life man you won't have any problem whatsoever with regards yes, to climbing yes, or walking or this is just take but what is it should take a good idea to start your workouts with bench press or overhead press or one by two or deadlifts so i said could you come on this injury right hmm? yeah definitely i think uh, the bench press is also an exercise squat bench and deadlift all three of them if not performed correctly Definitely, so I have a hard. Okay. Isolation exercise, doing a pitcher curl. Huh. Okay. Hmm? Are you saying that? Sorry, sorry. What? So you're saying you can't get injured in isolation exercises? You definitely can get injured, but there's hmm. actual evidence on this that a person who's training their chest and gets their chest tone in 90% of the cases is actually because of the barbell bench press. So okay, that talks more about the discovery. But you're saying it as if you're never going to get injured outside the. Compound movements. You, and how will you increase your? You, you know, one hundred percent get injured no matter what you're doing. You 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 can get injured outside the gym as well. But so you some your exercises have a some exercises has some exercises have a higher risk of injury as compared to others. And it's better to stay safe and stay away from these as long as they're not even beneficial for you with regards to muscle growth. What do you think is better for muscle growth? Is it is compound exercises are beneficial for muscle growth? Sorry, compound exercises are not beneficial for muscle growth. You just said that. Yeah, they 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 definitely will cause muscle growth, but there's other exercises that will cause better muscle growth than compound movements. Okay, for example, okay, someone your frame, right? If you would rather do 
I'm telling this to you as an advice. If you would rather do a lot of bench press and a lot of compound muscle, you will actually rather build more muscle than compared to doing isolation because you're isolating only one part of the body. So if you're doing something like a bench press or multi movement exercise, you will actually rather have more chances to build more muscle, put on more size. How much do you bench right now? I don't bench. But if I bench, I could definitely bench 190 kgs. Okay, do you think if you are able to bench more in a proper range of motion, in proper eccentric control, tempo, everything, you'll be much bigger, right? You'll be having more muscle, you'll be having more strength. Not true, not true. In fact, I was someone who enjoyed, I, I, I was someone who actually enjoyed powerlifting a lot and I was yeah. able to deadlift even 200 kgs. Okay. But after so that, this is my workout to... If you numbers in bench press or any components, you're not going to build any strength. Okay, so you want to talk about building muscle. Are you the best bodybuilder in the country? No, are you? You're not a fit man. You're not supposed to talk about that. Okay, I am 100% fit. Athletically fitter and more endurance, right? Have you gone and seen my videos? Okay, so uh, can you run? Can you run more than me? Can you jump more than me? Absolutely. Of course. I can. Yeah. I can jump. You, you can jump more than me. You want to test your vertical? Go. You want to test the vertical? Okay. You want to test the vertical? Let's go. Let's go. Go jump. Right. Or okay. let's okay. test your vertical and my vertical. Sorry? Sorry? I have a video of my vertical, man. Go check out my video. Okay, so you've probably seen all my videos. All, all right, all right. Give, give me, give me, give me inches you jump. How many inches do you jump? How many inches? inches you jump? Probably, probably five foot, five point five. Go see my. You videos. jump five feet, man. I have videos. You, I have videos. Go see. You jump five I have feet. Videos. I have videos, man. Go, go see. Okay. How much? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking can you about the vertical jump. Can you do a full split? I'm talking about a vertical jump. Full I can do more than you, but come on. Okay, okay, let's, let's get it tested then. Let's get it okay. tested right after this video. Whenever you're at the gym, uh, I think you can create a very long video with regards to no, how know. high you can touch the wall. It's already on my profile. Go check it out. I'll send that video to you after your live as well. Measured? Of course, it's measured. Go see. Okay, okay. So, how much is it? It's five feet vertical jump. Okay, fine. It's five feet vertical. I can jump 10 feet ahead of me. Long jump. Can you do it? Okay, you can, turn, you can jump 10 feet horizontal, all right. I, I'd love to see a video of this. Also. How much? Okay. Okay, 100%. Then, 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 then we'll definitely get this measured, all right. Right after this video, I'll... Can you do a backflip? I can't do a backflip. Why will I do a backflip? Can you do a full split? Why will I do a full split? So, who's more athletic? Who's more functional? Do you play the... Okay, so doing a, full split, uh, doing a full split means that you're more athletic than me? I can do I can do backflip, I can do cobra stretch, I can do so many other things you can't do, man. So you're not even close. How do you know that I can't do that? How do you know that I can't do, do that? Do it from me. There's no videos on nothing. Do it from me. Post okay, I, I'll definitely get all of this recorded and we'll test your vertical as well. We'll yes. see who, who jumps higher. Yes. Let's take your uh, check your also to jump. Let's let's take everything, man. Let's take your subject now. No, no, no. You still have to take the subject now. You say that you're more athletic than me. Can okay. you run longer than me? Can you run farther than me? Probably, we don't know. I don't know how okay, much Okay, let's see. Let's, let's get that tested, man. Let's get everything Fine. tested. You have very confident. Okay, you have to do back flips. What's your resting heart rate? Back 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 back. Back. That's not going to happen. That's a big movement, man. You don't think... Okay, okay. So so your your resting heart rate doesn't let's determine do. your health. Let's do a 100 meter run. What? Yeah. What's your resting heart rate? Why, why does that matter to you? Isn't it, a, isn't it a parameter of good health? Of course, it's a parameter. It's proper for me. I have my heart rate tested and everything. Why don't you share everyone what your resting heart rate is? Yeah, I do have photos of it, man. I said you. Don't worry. No, you, you actually post a video saying that. Yeah, you actually post a video saying that I'm a steroid and I'm absolutely right. I have all, okay. all my blood tests in check, and you post your blood test. I'll post my blood test. Let's see who will help you. Okay. Come back to okay. So, why is uh, it wrong? Why is it wrong to actually not start your workouts in compound moments? So, so, you, so you've never consumed steroids, you've never taken anabolic steroids? I have. And you're just the one who's saying that that was a video from three years ago. Have you taken anabolic steroids, yes or no? I have, man. I'm not lying about it. Then, 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 then why are you talking about building more muscle, man? Why are you talking about, uh, crying about who has more okay. muscle, who can do splits? Let's see, do I can show you pictures of me when I was 18, when I was younger than you, when I didn't know what protein take was, when I didn't know science, I still had a better physique than you. What I can say that I had better genetics. Okay, you 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 might have a you one hundred percent have a better muscle mass physique than me. I agree. With that. I don't disagree with that. But does that mean that you just because you have a better physique, you have better knowledge than me? Bro, you you don't even have enough practical evidence to support. Uh, you just have to just claim everything. What do you mean practical evidence? You're not giving any scientific evidence whatsoever. What's Why? It? Who are you to talk about evidence? 
you are not, not on one resource paper you are not on one article you don't know the meaning of stability you don't know the meaning of volume you don't know pretty much anything for it was scientific evidence from much time up to life to great time up so you lose the debate shave your hair don't go stupid how do i lose the debate how do i lose the debate subject all you do is go and subject stick to a subject i am asking you when you are fresh when a cns is fresh why is it not what do i have to do So so, so 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 quick question quick question mm-hmm. you said that you have more muscle mass than me that's why you mm-hmm. you have more knowledge as well so uh, are you the no, best no, no, bodybuilder in the country are you the best bodybuilder in the country okay are you the most knowledgeable person in the country i have the best sport in the country i could definitely agree with that i am amongst one of the top no yeah exactly i know said that i was the best bodybuilder in the country i won miss india multiple times you want to see them Okay, that that's great, man. Uh, and uh, let's say you've won Mister India multiple times. So, is there no bodybuilder better than you in the country? Of course, there is. I never said no. Okay, so do these bodybuilders also start their workout with compound movements? I don't know. Don't ask them. What I'm saying is, you said it's exactly. wrong to so, start it. So just because I'm you have more muscle, just because you also start it. Just because you said it's wrong to start it. Let me make one statement. Let me make one statement. Let me make one statement. Just because you have more muscle, that doesn't mean that your opinions are always right. You have to work with the guts to harm the entire audience. And let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement. You haven't trained any people, right? I have trained people. Well, I actually have. I'm arguing that you can also start with compound movements. While what you said is wrong. So you're saying you're not supposed. So start with compound movements. Yeah, one hundred percent. Why? Why? What is a compound movement? Could you please tell me what a compound movement is? Yes, man. Come on. Sorry. What is an exercise? Like squats, bench, deadlifts, yeah. just like okay. you said. And you said so it's like the five muscles. Okay, so like a power okay, so, what okay, is so the lower? Question. What is the lower power lifter trains, and what are the reps that a power lifter trains, and what is the load? So hypertrophy. Go ahead. Okay, so 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 uh, a compound movement is basically a multi joint movement, right? Okay. Do you agree to that? Let's take just one. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You just said compound movement is a multi-joint movement. Which also with that challenge is your stability, your balance, your core strength, everything. That's a compound movement, right? No. You just you clearly okay, said that compound okay, movement, multi-joint movement. What's okay, so is bicep curl an isolation movement or is it a compound movement? It depends on how you do it. If you're doing with a stable surface, it's a partial isolation movement. Okay, so stable surface. If I just come here, if I take the dumbbells and I'm doing this bicep curl, is this a compound movement or an isolation go movement? Stick, go stick your back against the wall, lock your elbows in. It's an isolation. Okay, so now that you said that stability is something that you really need to challenge, why are you putting your elbows against the back or against the wall to reduce no, your stability? Shifting the subject, man. This I'm not shifting the subject. I'm sticking to the same Listen, argument. I- Okay, girl. Also, teach them how to do proper deadlifts and squats, right? Uh, 
instead of telling them to avoid it. Hot squats. I will definitely tell anyone to avoid barbell squats. Why? Because it's not the best muscle growth exercise. What? Oh, you want you want to see proof? Yeah. You know. Okay. So which which muscle are you targeting with your uh, barbell squats? Let's see your hamstrings, your glutes. You're targeting hamstrings with a barbell squat. You can't do it. You're saying you can't target your hamstrings. You can't. How? The biomechanics. You you don't train your hamstrings with your barbell squats. You don't train your quads with barbell squats. I do. Explain why you can't activate your hamstrings. Why did you say? Why did you say hamstrings? Why can't you activate your hamstrings during a barbell squat? Explain that first. To that as well. I'll come to that as well. But why did you say that you train your hamstrings and glutes in a barbell squat? Why not quads? I don't train my quads as well. You are asking me which muscle I can target. Show me a research paper. Let me show you a research paper. Show me practical evidence. Why? Why? I think clinical evidence is bad for you. It doesn't work well. Clinical evidence doesn't apply the same to everyone because, like I said in the beginning, you can have a clinical evidence which proves high volume is better, high intensity is better, high frequency is better. Yeah. But which one works for the crowd actually? You have to train people. You have to have enough knowledge to train people. So you say your science is useless that, without knowing to execute it practically. So you 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 saying that uh, clinical evidence is not always accurate. It's better to have no. practical evidence. No, so that's see you you're twisting it again. I said you just no, you just discredited no, evidence. You just discredited no, evidence with the basis no, of the number of clinical evidence and science. You need to have enough practical knowledge, which you don't have. Okay. Okay. Consisting okay. of everything, man. Okay. All right. So, uh, do you agree with me that uh, the barbell squat is a multi-joint movement? Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And the knee extension is a single-joint movement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, here's the study for you. All right. The result of the study is for you. Sorry. Hold up. Blood. This research. All right. Read out. Read out. Read out. Read out. Read out. The result revealed that even at high intensity, the rectus femoris activation during multi-joint exercise is low and does not increase with fatigue, unlike the vast time. And that's directly. You just I, the research doesn't work that way, right? Okay, okay. So you want me to? You want me to? You want me to? You want me to explain the entire methodology to you as well? Post a video on that. Okay, by the way, do I post a video when you're there on the debate? You still haven't. I'll show them methodology for you. So what they did was actually test two people. For the knee extension mm. torque, who are leg presses and what knee are extension. Their, what are the limb length? Who are those two people? What is their training experience? Okay, okay. So why does the limb length matter so much to you? Why does the limb of length matter? Of course, you don't want to train two people the same way. Have you ever trained people in your whole life? Okay, 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 okay. So uh, limb length matters with regards to training someone with a barbell squat and training someone with a with leg extension, right? Everything it does matter, man. You're saying it doesn't matter. So, so, so for most people in the fitness industry or most people going to the gym, do they have optimal limb length for a barbell squat? No, they don't. But people still do it, right? Yeah. So, so, so for most people in the fitness industry or most people going mm. to the gym, do they have optimal limb length for a barbell squat? No, they don't. But people still do it, right? Yeah, so they do show it. Still do it. You are showing a study, man. You have to specify the topic again. You are changing the topic again, man. Stick to the same topic. Why are you I'm changing the topic one by one? Topic. I'm going back All right, to the same so topic hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. You, you bring arguments and then when I come to those arguments, you don't respond. So, let okay, me make this very clear. You said, you, said, you said that mm. most people have different limb lengths, but they still do barbell squat. And you said that on the basis of limb length, they should be uh, doing a particular exercise at the gym. So, why would I go out there no, and tell to the world that a barbell squat is a good exercise when most people don't have the right limb length for it? Research, right, which you showed, right, I wanted to know who the two subjects are, what their limb lengths are, what their training experience are. You're twisting it back again, there's right? No, there's not you're two subjects. Two there's two subjects. Two subjects. There's two two subjects. Two and you can part anyway. So just stick to the subject and answer my questions. So who, are those two subjects? who are those two subjects? There's no two subjects in a study. There's two groups of people. You just told me, man. Okay. There's 11 adults in this. Okay. There's 11 adults in this study. You could clearly read here. 
11 adults developed isometric hip extension torque okay. while maintaining blah 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 in knee extensions mm. and multi joint leg movements and guess mm. who got more muscle growth in their quads guess are you a part of those 11 people or are your clients a part of those 11 so, people so still to read a research i have to be part of that particular from? research where are they from where are they from which country are they from that's I'm not well aware of, but uh, all that matters is the research, right? Because you have a research where it says cigarette causes cancer, cigarette causes heart attack, and cigarette doesn't cause cancer to people in Russia. There are many studies saying that, man. You can't just base your subject on. Okay, okay. You know, so cigarette doesn't cause cancer to people in Russia? Are you saying that? No, I'll show you research on that. You can go check it out later. Sorry? I'll send you research on that, man. You can check it out later. Okay, okay. 100%. I'm looking forward to that. So, okay. uh, the country in which the particular study is performed needs to always be India to refer to that study, right? Okay, so this is from India. Are you saying that this is not from India, I think? No, no. Uh, this, is, this is in the European Journal of Applied Physiology. So it's definitely somewhere in the yeah. Europe itself. But uh, does all, do, do all the studies have to be Indian for them to be applicable to you? See, does, the biomechanics, the does the biomechanics of an Indian individual and a foreign individual, dif is, it, is it different? Okay, wait. To understand a research and execution on people, right, you need practical evidence. You need practical you experience. Don't. You don't. The you research, a a research completely takes care of the practical part of it. In no, fact, no. this is a human control. To, right? close to your clients, the people you train, to the people you advise, okay. you agree with that. You need Sorry? some kind of experience you can't just read everything and apply it on people well, agree with that. Percent. there's a lot of practical experience that you have to gain as well with regards to training also, and also with regards to the intensity research. but, but research on people you train you need practical evidence you agree okay so you need only practical evidence or do you actually need clinical evidence as well I'm not what twisting anything what man I'm what, what i'm saying is to understand science to understand how research works okay you need practical experience to actually execute it to people you agree with that? I don't. What? You don't need practical evidence. You need experience. Experience. To do experience. experience. And a yeah. person with experience can read research and improve your experience as well. Do you agree with that? You I, need I, 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 I 100% agree. Okay. I 100% agree. agree that if you want to teach someone, you need to have that experience of teaching as well. You should be able to articulate your words well as well. Mm. Okay. But does that mean that scientific evidence is always discredited? No, I never said that, man. You are again, again asking something. Did I say? Did I say? I didn't say that. Okay, so trying to bring smart every every argument that I'm making, you're talking something else. You're, you're switching I'm the topic, and then you're blaming me for else. switching from the topic. No, you are. Not there, is there any scientific the evidence that you're planning to share today? What? Or I, or I think we're one hour in the debate, and uh, oh. you haven't shared any research whatsoever. What research you want me to say, man? Hmm? I'm asking. Whatever research that supports your argument, <laughs> why will I tell you which research you have to pull out? Okay, do you disagree that training with compound movements is gonna like cause injuries if we don't train them properly? Yes, right. Yeah. Even if you do those mistakes and isolation, it's gonna injure you anyway. All I'm saying is, if you train them properly, you teach people how to actually manage load, how to manage your tempo, and how to manage your range of motion, there's less possibility they're gonna get injured. Do you disagree with that? If you manage everything, one hundred. No, show, show a single study supporting your claim that compound exercise is actually like training like a power lifter or everything you said, right? Hmm. Everything you said is a plan. Do you agree with that? People who start up with bench, deadlifts, or power, or uh, you know squats, they don't train like power lifters. Do you agree with that? Depends on the load, depends on tempo, and everything else. Most people actually do end up training like that, most, especially youngsters. Most people, what? in general. Okay, so for in general, when you talk about in general, when you talk about in general, you are advising people in general, man. You are not talking about specific people. Yeah. So when most people do it, when most people do it, the most people come in part of those general people. This is general people. This is most people. This is okay. The so you are saying that most people start off their exercise by doing it like a power lifter for doing it with heavier loads. How many? Yeah, ninety percent of the one. Okay. So you you disagree with this? Do you think that youngsters don't start their workout with deadlift, squat, and bench presses? Who? Youngsters. 
Yeah. You can rather teach them to do properly, man. You don't have to tell them to not do it. You don't need to do it. That's the best part. You don't need, need to do a bench press. press. You can simply do yeah. a dumbbell press. You can also do it. But you'll be, much, you'll be much stronger. You'll build more strength and flexibility by doing even mobility by doing a bench press, man. How much you are limited while doing a machine press. Whatever. Right. Let me you're not a... challenging your core strength. You're not challenging your core strength. Your stability is not challenged as much. Okay. So you want to challenge core strength in a bench press, right? Ah, okay. No, no. What I'm saying is that you're not challenging any core strength. You're not challenging any stability. You said you're not challenging any stability or core strength. So could you? I said I said compared to a machine press, on a bench press, your core strength, your stability, your balance, everything else plays a part. And your CNS is going to fire even more. So it's that's the best part. That's the best part. That's, that's the, best, the part. best part. Why? Why are you doing Once a bench press to train your chest, right? Why are you doing a bench press to train your chest, right? So you're telling me it's not good enough to train a bench press. Instead, do a machine press. It, it's, 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 it's good to train in a bench press, but it's okay, better so to train in a machine press. It's better to train in a machine press. That's what I'm saying. For what? For muscle so hypertrophy. To chest. Okay. Fine, but you think that it's better to train bench press, increase your strength, then it's going to give you more muscle mass because you can handle more weight. That's not true. true. More Why? weight is not equal to more so muscle mass. So evidence, evidence to support your training. Okay, okay. Doing a bench press not going to increase so, your strength, which will indirectly support hypertrophy. Show me enough evidence for that. Okay, so uh, I I don't think this requires evidence. It just requires common sense, which like I believe you lack. Everything but said, but but with, 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 with regards so to you with regards to you any you such evidence on that, you don't have any scientific evidence on what you say. You, you keep interrupting me. With regards to training your chest, with with regards to training your chest, I I I definitely haven't accumulated any evidence right now, but I'll definitely find something. In okay. fact, there's evidence that suggests that most of the chest tears, pectoral major tears, actually occur from doing a barbell bench press. It can also occur from doing machine press, man. It doesn't make it can occur from anything. It can occur from anything. I agree. There's more risk in doing a bench press, but injuries can happen anywhere. Do you agree with that? Injuries can happen anywhere, but you can't avoid it everywhere. You can avoid it at the gym. Okay, fine. How safe can you be by not doing a bench press? You say you'll never get injured or drop these rest on a machine press. See, the reason why you're not safe, why you should not do a bench press is not just because it's highly, it, it increases the risk of injuries, but, it, but because it you also reduces the... Man, you don't let me finish. I'm saying... You, you're not supposed to do a bench press, not just because it increases the risk of injuries, but also because other exercises are much better for muscle hypertrophy. Okay, what I'm arguing is you can also do a bench press. It, it can also be an exercise for much better, much other things than just hypertrophy, man. You're saying what are, are things that, what other things apart from hypertrophy? Wait, they have to only train hypertrophy and only train isolation. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. If, you, if your goal is to build muscle, that's what I clearly said in the video as well. Okay, but how much muscle can you build with weaker tendons, weaker ligaments? Your body is not going to support it, man. Okay, okay. So, so you're saying that okay. bench pressing actually... So means your evidence to support that building, doing bench press is not going to increase your strength, which is in turn going to increase your capacity for more hypertrophy. Okay, okay. so bench press will increase your strength of your chest muscle. I don't disagree with that. But it will increase your strength of bench pressing, not of yeah. not the strength of your chest muscles. If you rather grow your chest muscles, you'll have stronger muscles. More muscle is equal to more strength. As simple as that. So you're saying that avoiding a bench press, doing more machine press and growing your chest will actually improve your bench press. Yeah. No, no, no. So I didn't say it will improve your bench press. Bro, bro, I wasted I my time. That. I didn't say that. Just you're overreacting, man. Everyone is overreacting. I never you just got. You just said that. I just okay. Said, you want, I said. Hold up, hold up. So you're saying that the strength of your chest muscle depends upon the amount of bench that you do. Not entirely. Then you can pass. Why are you overreacting about the same thing? No, you just said the same thing. That doing dumbbell press and doing building your chest muscles. Is going to help you get a better better bench. I didn't say it will just help you get a better bench. I said it will help you get better strength. Okay, let's rewatch the video and post it again. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, so, so I was saying, I was saying. Now, 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 let me talk about it. So mm. you said that. Okay, so 
you said that a dumbbell press or a chest press is better for muscle growth than barbell bench press. Do you agree to that? Oh, depends. Depends on what. what? Depends on everything. Your programming, your selection, your exercise placement, everything. Okay, so in what case would a barbell bench press be better than a dumbbell press for chest growth? For building your tendons, for building your ligaments, for building kind of tissue strength. If you want to actually get stronger, you see, if you actually want to get stronger, okay. which in turn helps to build your hypertrophy, that's just something you can do. Okay. Why not do it? Okay, so how do you how do you exactly strengthen your tendons and ligaments in a bench press than you do while training your dumbbell press? So you can't strengthen your tendons and ligaments in a bench press or your kind of tissue in a bench press. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying how do you not strength, how do you strengthen your tendons more in a bench press than you do in a dumbbell press? Not there's so much serious firing going on, man. There's so much activity going on in the body just to keep the bubble stable. In a machine, you're just... so 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 so. Could you could you please tell me what a tendon is? I don't think you understand that. What is a tendon? Tendon connects your bone to the muscle, man. You don't know okay, that so being a medical student. Could you could you could you name one tendon? What you? Bicep tendon. Okay. So when I'm contracting a bicep, hmm. let me bring my special guest over here. All right. I think it doesn't fit in the frame. But let's say I'm doing a bicep curl. All right. Let's say I'm doing a bicep. Curl. This is the tendon of the bicep. Do you agree to this? Okay. This is the tendon of the bicep. Do you agree? Okay. So while doing a normal yeah. bicep curl, even hmm. this tendon is going to get trained. Do you agree to that? Okay. Do you agree? It's trained better on a pre-check curl in the full length in position. No, I don't agree to that. Okay, so a preacher goal is a compound movement. Show your bicep strength. The growth of your tendon depends upon the mechanical tension it is experiencing. Firstly, your tendon is a non-contractile part of your movement. So, in fact, in the lengthened position, in the lengthened position, my bad, I disagreed with you on that one by mistake. But while doing a bicep curl. In the lengthened position, your tendon is going to have the most amount of mechanical tension. So, while doing a bicep curl or preacher curl in which you're keeping your hands in a very lengthened position, is definitely going to. Go a little behind, right? So everyone can see. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to. So, uh, when you do a bicep curl, at that moment, or in the lengthened position, your tendon is going to have the maximum amount of mechanical tension. I agree with you. Okay. Now, with regards to a bench press, while doing a bench press, is your Pectoral tendon in the most lengthened mm. position while doing a bench press, or is it in a more lengthened position while doing a dumbbell press? While doing a dumbbell press or or a bench press? You mean a dumbbell press? Yes. But how stable? Okay, so, but how stable? How much of balance and stability and coordination are you handling while doing a single while doing a dumbbell and a bench press? Why? In fact, stability is counterintuitive to your muscle growth and to your even your tendon how? growth. How? Because you're you you you're not just focusing on. I'm training. someone online on call. No, I'm recording it back there. Oh, so that, yeah. that's the audience. Mm. So while while training your stability, uh, while mm. training your bench press, the fact that the movement is less stable is actually counterintuitive, because you're not just focusing on pressing the movement ahead. You're not just focusing on pressing the chest move. Ahead, you're actually focusing on balancing the bar as well, which is deviating okay. your neural strength in your body. Let me finish my statement, man. Which is which is actually de deviating your neural concentration from just training the chest muscle than training the stability uh, by, by training the stability as well. So you you need to focus on two things, and I think you know this better than me. But focusing on one thing is better than focusing on two things at one time, right? Why not? And that's what I'm asking you. Bench press can also stimulate muscle growth. There will be not as good as. I don't disagree. I don't disagree with that. Even 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 picking up rocks and throwing it with your chest muscle is also going to stimulate your muscles. But certain exercises train better than your bench press, and that's why you're supposed to do. Bench press to train the rock, man. You see where it's going. Let's stick to bench press and dumbbell press. Let's stick to bench press and dumbbell press. I am good. I just literally said the same thing. You say I just said the same thing. You said muscle activation is better than the bench press, right? The dumbbell press. I agree. But I am saying to increase the overall strength, to actually get more strength. Overall strength in what? Overall strength in what? Nothing, man. Your your neural coordination, your balance, your your core strength, everything. The way you push, the way you bench, 
You are saying it's not a horizontal press, no. not a bench press. No, no, not a, it doesn't. It's not a good it press. doesn't. You don't no. train your core strength in a bench no. press. If you really want to improve no. your core That's strength, challenge your core strength. You got to challenge your core strength. I'm not training my core strength on a bench press, man. But is there more demand on a core strength on a bench press or on a double press? On a on a bench press, one hundred percent. But why do you need to strengthen your core in a bench press? Why do you need to strengthen your core in a chest exercise? Just do a chest exercise. Just do a core exercise. The challenge is your core. That's what I said. You are telling me that if you want to challenge your core, if you want to challenge your core, just do a core exercise. Why are you doing a chest movement for challenging your core? What I'm saying is, compared to a dumbbell press, your core is more challenged on a bench press. Do you agree to that? I agree to that, and that's the worst see, part. See how you don't, how you don't, the you thing. don't, you don't need to challenge your core in a chest exercise. You need to okay. challenge your chest in a chest exercise, not your core. Okay, don't do it. I, I won't do it, and I recommend everyone to not do it. Okay, then when so I get cold, right? I still haven't seen any scientific evidence whatsoever from you man. man. I have any evidence to support that doing I've a bench press. I've already shown you evidence, man. I've shown you some studies on some sections of people, two groups of people, which doesn't even matter now. All I'm asking is show me studies which says that bench press will not increase your strength and ability to push more weight, which will in turn help you increase I, hypertrophy. Why will I show you a study of something I don't disagree with? I I agree with you. Bench press will improve your strength, but what I'm saying is that a dumbbell no, press will improve your strength better than a bench press. That's what I'm saying. Show me evidence for that. Plus show me evidence for, 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 for bench press challenging your core which is beneficial for you. I can ask you to show you me done, evidence. You done press, but you whenever I'm right. showing you any evidence whatsoever, you're not responding. I mean, you, you have enough practical knowledge to understand the things that I'm saying, right? Hmm? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Then why, why don't you just stick to the practical side of things, man? Research is important, yes, science is important, yes. But unless you need, unless you have experience of training people, unless you have trained yourself, you'll never know which science applies to who. Hmm. Do you agree with that? Concluding everything based on a research, based on study. Hmm? I I I speak everything on behalf of things that are resourced and things that I've tried out in practical in practicality as well. So to okay. understand to, 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 to go to the practical. Then to go to the practical. To go to the practical. If you haven't seen any blood work or improvements in testosterone, right? Why do you still see it? What what what? Why yeah. do you take anabolics? Huh? Why do you take anabolics? Why do you I'm take anabolics? I'm not anabolics. I'm testing it right now, man. I've but started you have to take anabolics before, right? Because I was a bodybuilder. Okay. So it, it's a performance enhancing drug. Even oh, Silajit yes. has some slight benefits with regards to performance enhancement. I don't take Silajit oh, right now. Oh. But I just made a video promoting oh. them because they wanted my advice on it. So I did that. What's the problem oh, with that? No. Who bit that your testosterone increased with Shilajit? You just you just said that things you study and things that have worked for you, you are okay, okay. So, so 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 if I recommend a medication to someone, if if I if I tell someone diabetic to consume insulin, I actually ah, need to ah, put ah, insulin in my body and test it. Ah see you're twisting it again, you're twisting it again. I'm not twisting All anything, man. I'm giving you an All example. Promoted Shilajit saying that it's gonna help you build muscle based on research and you said you've used it in the past, but you have no evidence of it increasing your testosterone, right? I am not promoting Silajit on the basis of it improving my testosterone. I'm, I promoted Silajit on the basis of what research said and I clearly said in that video that Silajit is not a magic It's not a magic supplement. You need to have good nutrition and exercise. That's what I said. Okay. What research said and I clearly said in that video. Okay. So, I don't think this debate is going anywhere, man. You're not proving any conclusive statement. You're not defending your statement. All I said okay, is... Can, wait, you can start your workouts with compound moments. Do you disagree with that? Yes, I do. Why? It also depends on what you call a compound movement. It also depends on that. You said squats, bench and deadlift. And I say you can start your workouts with bench press or a shoulder press, overhead press. Squats, if you want to play exhaust, you can play exhaust. Deadlifts is better to say what happens. You can always that's what I say. Just do what you want. You can always do what you want. You can always start your workout with a bench press. So I want to do that. And if you so if you find good. fun in doing that, you can definitely do that. But okay, so what's a safer alternative? Know. What's a better alternative? A dumbbell press. So my job is to tell everyone that a dumbbell press is better than a bench press. But if they really want to do a bench press, then I don't mind them doing that, man. I won't go to them and say that I am the gym police. Don't do a bench press. I won't do that. Don't the video, man. Let's watch the video again, shall we? Okay, okay so please, please go ahead. That's what I clearly said that. Why are you training like a powerlifter? That's what I've said. Uh, training like a powerlifter depends on the load you push. 
depends on the tempo depends on the range of motion yeah, i agree so like, i am targeting those kind of people i am targeting those kind of people in that video who actually train like a power lifter thinking that it will help them put on muscle quicker that's what i do on the video no no you are not Certainly, mistakes that people make at the gym is starting their workouts with squat, bench, and deadlift. What's wrong? Put on muscle quicker. Man, this is the so first time I'm repeating this. Not even the third. Put on muscle quicker. Yeah? Do you disagree with that? So, compound muscle aren't going to be as effective as isolations. One hundred percent. It depends on. Again, again. How can you determine the compound is weak? Again. How can you determine the compound is good? Again, it depends on what you call a compound movement. If you if you squat, call a compound movement, maybe if you call a lat, yeah, squat, bench, and deadlift, no benefit whatsoever, especially with regards to the load that they use. If if you're doing a 150 kg deadlift with bad form, mm. just trying to lift the weight up, it's not going to give you any hypertrophy whatsoever. I'm someone. You think I don't have enough practical experience? I am someone who can deadlift easily 180 kgs on any day, but I still deadlift with a 15 15 kg on each side to train my hamstrings. So, I, 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 you, you might be stronger. You, you definitely deadlift more than me. I don't disagree with that. But that doesn't mean that my opinion is wrong because you have a better deadlift. I agree. I, I appreciate you. I admire no, no, you for your strength. Okay. But that I'm doesn't mean that scientific research is wrong. What, what is it? Mechanical tension is important. Yes, some mechanics do challenge your mechanical tension, but that doesn't mean that compounds and starting of your workout isn't going to help you build any muscle. This just stupid. I know. Yeah. I said that. I never said that it won't help you build any muscle. I said it's probably missing out on gains. I can't tell you. So it doesn't challenge your hypertrophy. It just challenges your neural fatigue and balance. It it challenges your hypertrophy and balance at the same time. You didn't mention that. You know, in a real, in a real, you cannot mention everything in a one minute video. Hmm? You cannot mention everything word by word. I couldn't put on five so studies and five explanations in the video. The video needs to be engaging. It Wait. needs to reach the wide audience, and it should consider generalized information so, with regards to scientific. So evidence. your ideology is to provide information that is more catchy, not actually provide value. Not catchy. That's why you posted this video. Okay. No. Not information that is catchy. Information oh. presented. In a very catchy manner and an engaging. You presented good information that is catchy. No, no. You just said that this video doesn't have enough context, right? You just said that. I didn't say that. Say that. You said that. You just said that. You just said that. You said that it needs more clarification. It needs more value. You could have posted a video for two months, man. You think people? I disagree. Yeah, exactly. This this video is very beneficial for people who really want to actually learn more about putting on muscle mass. And uh, it, that's the problem with the industry. People like you, fools See, like you, you actually end up promoting bench presses, deadlifts, and squats, and that's why people think that that's the way to start the workout. You know what the industry thinks? The industry thinks, the industry thinks that the bar is good is the king of all legs. Bench press. Why are we saying you promote bench press? No, you you are literally doing it right now by saying that bench press. No, I'm just arguing with you that you can also start with the bench press. I'm not promoting bench press by saying you have you to always start, start with the bench press. You you can start with the bench press if you want. So I'm wrong. I recommended what is better to start with. That's What's it. What better to start with? Depends Dumbbell on your goal, right? Dumbbell press. Depends on your goal, right? If you're training for hypertrophy, you can also start with bench press. Do you disagree with that? If you Training for hypertrophy, you can start with the bench press. But if you want more hypertrophy, so you start with so the dumbbell press. If you want to train like a powerlifter, if you want to increase your strength, you do a bench press. But if you want to train more hypertrophy than a hypertrophy in a bench press, you do a dumbbell press. See? It's very simple. I don't think you understand. Man, I might be the 20 year old over here, but you're behaving mm. like a 16 year old because you don't understand basic English. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? See, this is a defense mechanism, man. You just become the victim and blame the other person instead of supporting your claim. I'm not blaming you for anything. You are not giving any scientific yeah. evidence whatsoever, buddy. You don't I'm have any scientific evidence. No, but it's time for me to roll. I think it's one hour after. It's time for you to roll. Shave your head. I need to go. I need to get, get the ball. I need to make it. I need to shoot. Yeah. I need to go play basketball, man. Okay. I'm not having this dumb debate anymore. Have a good night. Okay. You are dumb, bro. And ensure you don't have any practical knowledge. Okay. All right. Bye.